Hey, it's Heather Kay. Put my tiara on. Just want to talk to you guys about how to travel light. Earlier, I said, I don't know where I thought I was in Portsmouth or something like that. So I'm actually at the Queen's Hotel. And this here is in Portsmouth. And that's in England. So you can look at the Queen's Hotel. We have very good breakfast there. Um, let's see what I was going to tell you about. Oh, I'm getting rid of this much paper in my backpack. And the reason why we got to do that is because backpack, it sure can get heavy like this. I don't need. So what I did is I wrote some notes to myself in an envelope. So I took a photo of it. That can go in the garbage. I have a business card from the Chester residence. Hopefully, read that if you want. I'm going to go back and forth. Um, I mean, I could make a video. I mean, if you want to look up Chester residence, um, that was in Edinburgh when I saw the Edinburgh castle and I made a video on the uh, Edinburgh. I don't need to save the business card. I took a picture of it on my phone and later when I get home, I'll edit my videos to add the information down below. And this is the receipt from the Chester residence. You do not need to see how much that costs. Tear it up. Be done with it. I've already called my bank. Verified it. Garbage. This is the travel lodge receipt. Again, where did I stay at the travel lodge now? Does it say... Manchester, travel lodge in the central area in Manchester. I did not enjoy it. It was um, a 16 minute walk from the train. Uh, we had um, supper there. Um, the salad was really, really good. It was a vegan salad. Um, so Manchester at that part of town, uh travel lodge was 35 dollars, but you sure get what you pay for it was kind of a scary walk um getting there and we ended up taking a cab back cab was like not even 10 bucks i think 10 bucks included um tip that was 10 euros i got these uh receipts from mcdonald's which i almost want to take home but i'm not saving paper it's just that this is in uh, pounds look at this a dollar 99 big mac uh double cheeseburgers uh, side salad or large fries a dollar 99. while this seems like it's a very good price if you like mcdonald's which it, if you're starving <laughs> it's food a dollar 99 in pounds is close to four bucks and i think they have like these five dollar sales at home garbage here's a the night lodge the on my um, credit card, which I don't need. Uh, Newcastle, $13.10. On May 21st, $13.10. $13.10 Travel Lodge. Oh, shit. <laughs> Forgot to see. I'm trying to see. I should have checked the location. I'm not spending a whole lot of money. I think that might have been for my souvenir. Um, as you know, I'm buying, um, uh, what do you call it? Souvenir collector spoons for my cousin Lloyd L. Paul Sr. Just want to say hi to Seven and a Half Marshall. Don't be jealous that I'm buying my cousin spoons. He's my cousin. You're not related to me. You're only a friend of his, which I support. <laughs> Babacino, um, it was my turn to buy supper. My meal was very inexpensive, but let me tell you. French onion soup. I'm really going to make a French onion soup. It brought it to a whole new level. They put it in bread. And then you got to eat the bread bowl for instead of having croutons. Fantastic. Um, I did have a glass of red wine, so that's what brought my bill up. Otherwise, my meal was very inexpensive. And I'm finding like a lot of these places, as long as you don't go overboard with the drinks and the appetizers and order their main or eat an appetizer for supper, you're not going to go over your budget. And it could be like McDonald's budgets. Like, I'm surprised that 
by the time you buy a meal, you could buy a really nice meal somewhere else. So know your prices. And I do look at the menu before we go in. So in Newcastle, what is this? Uh, oh, in Newcastle, I bought two tickets. Oh, that was the Newcastle Castle, the Heart City, the Black Gate, Castle Garth. Uh, $15 for two people was my turn to pay for the stuff. And notice how I get all the inexpensive stuff. Uh, Newcastle, you can visit their website, www.newcastle.co.uk. Please be careful of the steep stairs, uneven surface, and low doorways. Yes, if you're um, challenged in any way, some of these things are not for you. However, they do offer a lift, which is another word for elevator, and you can see parts of it if, if you're okay with that. Um, the, re the reason why I want to show you this receipt, which I'm not keeping, is that when I called my bank back home, because my credit card went kaput, and it's like, oh no, and, and I'm away, and they wouldn't offer me any more money. I said, what's going on with my credit card? They were charging me for everything that was pending. And a lot of these hotels, you do need to book online. And I'm going to make another video of the top 10 things you need to know when you're traveling in the UK. So keep a look for that video. Hopefully, I'll get to add that today. I said, 250 Are you kidding me? So every little thing I bought, it's 250 charge. So buy your money at home um, if you have to use an instant teller. On your smaller purchases, have some cash for that because your bank at home is going to charge 250 on top of the money. Uh, you you paid for to have the cash that you have on hand. Um, this is the Edinburgh. Oh, we took a train. Uh, and I took photos of this from Newcastle to Edinburgh on May 19th. So it had a credit card voucher. It had some kind of other voucher. It had a voucher, it says. And it has the actual ticket. There was three of them. Um, it was my turn to pay for the, the train ticket, but the price I have on this was for actually two people. And they don't really give you credit card information, but I always like to tear it in half. By the way, this here is just the receipt. This ticket here, I do take photos of it on my um, camera. And I hope that God I don't lose my camera. But I take the camera pictures because um, when I make my videos, I kind of want to think to myself when the date was. I have a little journal for my cousin Lloyd L. Paul Sr. because we're going to talk about the spoons I bought for him. So it's always nice to take a photo and say, when was I there? And I'm going to show you something at the end of this video, which may help you. So I tear it up, throw it away. Um, I already tore this in half. This is some note paper. Um, we were trying to work out some um, money. Um, who owes what who so sometimes like you buy supper I buy supper and sometimes it gets ahead of each other and you know so you you want to be fair and you don't want the other person you're traveling with to say you abused me and my money which I do <laughs> you know but you make it look good if you have a pen and paper yeah yeah I'm keeping track yeah <laughs> so this here is Stonehenge Henge I always say Stonehenge it's Henge like Henge so anyway, so I bought a spoon there and I actually bought a magnet for uh, my friend Venus and I paid by cash and they took a lot of my change. So I took a picture. I know I paid as a gift. So oh, I dropped something. My garbage can's getting full. In the courtyard gift shop at High Clare Castle, bought a magnet for Venus because she asked me. Um, I bought a calendar. Like I haven't really bought a whole lot of souvenirs. But since the highlight of my trip, see, I got a castle and I got the tiara from uh, Edinburgh Castle, which I wore when I was there. And I had no time to do my hair because I stayed at this really, really uh, cheap hotel called Travel Lodge. They had no hair dryer. You guys seen my video. Oh, my God, my hair. Medusa. <laughs> and my hair looks bad when I get out of bed. And that, I had showered. And my hair was combed. You wouldn't know it. Anyway, enough about my hair. You guys know I can work it. And this is, this is just blown dry. This is not, you know. Didn't use my flat iron because it doesn't work over here in the UK. <laughs> so today's not a bad look and I'm only traveling. I wish I looked this well at Hi Mary, hello. You guys will forgive me. Anyway, so um, I bought myself some breath mints just because the tin had a high clear castle on it. It was very inexpensive. Bought my cousin Lloyd L. Paul Sr. a spoon and I bought a little badge. And I'm not mentioning any names, but if she ever watches my video or my sister, I collected a couple little pins when I seen them. 
Um, sometimes when you book your um, train online, they reserve your seats, which is nice. And then what we learned about the, um, I'm not gonna put this in the garbage show, so that's gonna go on my top 10 things you need to know video. Um, you won't, you gotta know what direction because there's tables and if you reserve the tables, it's really cool. But you may wanna be on this side of the train going that way, right? because you want to watch the scenery. Uh, yeah, otherwise, if these people don't mind, mind watching, if you go backwards, um, you can book the table in what direction you want to sit. So we didn't know that when we booked that and we did have to move, but luckily for us, there was um, the person on the train was very helpful and said, those ones aren't taken. So they only seem to reserve them first thing in the morning from the ones from overnight and other than that, you're out of luck. So I picked up this from High Clare Castle and it was on Lady Carnivon's blog. Did I say your name right? Excuse me if I don't. Visit Lady Carnivon's blog when she invites you behind the scenes of her life, her home, sharing the antidotes from everyday life at High Clare Castle. So in, I did take this, and it has a front and back. Uh, they are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can download an app to step through the doors of High Clare Castle with our new app, um, and they sell some books there at the High Clare Castle. I took this so I can look at the remember everything when I get home. I took photos off that, so I do not need to save this. When we were at the travel lodge, which we happened to stay for free, and it probably saved us 300 Canadian. It wasn't my turn to pay, thing. I'm thankful for. Um, okay, you wanna know why we got it for free? Because the cleaning lady did not clean our room. Well, not my room, but my friend's room. And, um, it was bad and that was the video i showed you where we had a bed and like a side bed next to a chair staying at the travel lodge uh we had identical rooms and there was hair in the bathroom the bed wasn't made fresh so we got all of our money back um might have not been 300 might have been 250 canadian wasn't my turn to buy because some of these travel lodges are 35 they go from 35 to 150 dollars so and if you book a day in advance sometimes it's sooner um we're staying here because they all sold out and um, the, the Queen's Hotel, the internet's bad, but I think my internet's bad because I signed up for the internet at Via Rail and, uh, or the train and the cloud. And I think they're interfering with um, the internet here because they want you to be on their Wi-Fi because my friend who didn't do that, sign up for all these Wi-Fi's is having an okay experience here. So anyway, getting back to what she printed out for me, uh, for us was, the papers, um, to how to get to High Clare from where we were, Amesbury um, to Newbury. Um, it was on a Sunday. So what had happened was they said, it's a 20, it's a 10 minute walk to Amesbury. They told us there was no trains. So you don't need to say that anymore. And then they said, um, the bus is two hours, 45 minutes. And then we found out on weekends, it's even longer to wait for a bus, but they had two buses leaving at 9.15. We got there a half hour early and um, the cab was 31 minutes. We actually ended up going to Newbury by cab because it was a half hour. You don't need to save those papers. There was like five of them way down your luggage. Um, we chose a cab and when it's Sunday, these the one in Amesbury, they charge double. And the other cab driver who was called in in five minutes time because we saw a cab, but you got to call a cab to get a cab. She was charging us triple. But because her boss was the one who stopped and dropped somebody off by the bus stop, he said, give it to them for double the price. So she goes, because my boss said double the price, we're gonna give it to you double. Thank you. Sometimes it's like, go with the flow, man, things happen. Um, now for the paper that I am saving. This is my receipt for the stuff I mailed back to myself uh, because it was weighing down my backpack. I bought a box for, uh, I think it was 250 and my friend bought some tape. We both mailed home boxes because our backpacks were getting really, really heavy. And mine was just extra shoes and extra clothes. The heavy clothes because the weather has warmed up. Um, when I did, the, I did the conversion for you guys this morning, it was 4.8 kilograms. And that works to be 10 and a half pounds. But on my back, it felt like 20 pounds. Now this is something I'm saving until I get my luggage home in case we have to track it somewhere. So that paper will travel with me. Uh, this one here... I put temporary save. It's from when I stay at the Augusta Hotel. And the reason why is because I wrote myself some notes on the back that I kind of want to keep, but I'm not quite sure. So I'm just going to give that another day and I'm just putting that aside in my temporary save. One piece of paper isn't too bad. 
um, saving these only temporary for until I make my video, the top 10 things you need to know when traveling UK, but I didn't write my speaking notes, which I'm going to do this morning. Um, here's something too, that the travel lodge has, um, given us, or it's in their lobby is explore the nation, your hotel guide to over 550 locations. And it is in the UK, in England, Scotland, or whoever doesn't want to be part of the uh, UK nation. So what I've done here is I wanted to get a, a point about how I'm traveling. Like for instance, we arrived in Newcastle. We came from ferry um, overnight from Amsterdam and we saw the Newcastle, Newcastle. So I wrote these notes down uh, on here, but I, I was kind of messy about it, made some mistakes. So I got a second one, which I'm going to transfer it over. So I'm going to carry these two. And when I got some time this morning, I'm going to do that. Uh, so we saw the Edinburgh Castle, stayed at the Chester Residence, which is a five star. And then we traveled um, uh, from Edinburgh down to Manchester. We stayed at the Travel Lodge at Manchester. I would not recommend Manchester because I felt it was scary. We traveled three and a half hours to get there. Now we could have taken, here's where we were. If you can see me on the map, here's where we ride by um, from Amsterdam because we're up in Germany. And then we traveled to Edinburgh, right? We saw the Edinburgh Castle that was on our list. And we were in Wales. It's cool because then I got another country in my belt. Then we traveled down here to Manchester because we could have, we could have went from here to here, but it would have been seven hours. And so, we broke it down and seen what the towns had to offer in Manchester. We had supper and stayed in our room. So, um, but by that time, when you're on train three and a half hours, it's nice to have supper and go to bed early and kind of check out the place. So, um, so after, um, Edinburgh to Manchester, we traveled another three and a half hours by train to Newcastle. Um, there was something else I, I said I wouldn't recommend. I think Manchester or um, Newcastle train from Newport uh, to Salisbury was one hour, um, one hour, 40 minutes. And we had to go to Salisbury because then we wanted to go see Stonehenge would not recommend Newport. So actually, sorry, we went from, we went from Manchester to Newport. I wrote Newcastle. This is why you want to rewrite these things. Um, and I would not recommend Newport cause it was scary. And I stayed at, um, I think it was the place I stayed at <sighs> night lodge, which was $35 a night. We got two rooms and they wouldn't give us our money back. And the room was absolutely scary, but the Wi-Fi was good. And, um, a friend who I was traveling with couldn't handle it. it smelled like curry. Uh, his bed had springs in it. Uh, he went up to the travel lodge, which was right near the, um, the train. So that's one thing about Newport. If you stay at the travel lodge, there's one right there. As soon as you get out of the train, it's right there. And I thought at night lodge that it was charged to my credit card and it didn't because my bank had a hold on it. Like my bank had say, oh, I see you're traveling in, in uh, the UK and did you authorize this purchase? So once I got all my banking information, I had to confirm it and it knocked me out of the reservation. So my reservations weren't charged to my credit card. They were on hold pending for my credit card. However, they didn't receive any information, so I didn't have to stay there. But me, I felt obligated because I didn't. I thought I already paid for it. So, and then once I signed in and paid for it, um, I was stuck there. I couldn't leave. So it was a tiny, tiny little room, and I did upload a video on it. If you want to see it, I can't link them. Um, I'm just. Um, it's going to call be called Night Lodge. So look for that if you want to see how tiny my room was. And this room is tiny, but it's beautiful tiny. So, anyways, from there. From Newport, we took a train, like I said, one hour, 40 minutes down to Salisbury. And so the big part of our traveling, the seven hours traveling uh, is over. We only we only have to go fight by here. And we are in, I keep forgetting where we're at. Portsmouth, Portsmouth. Oh, why can't I remember where we're at? I'm so tired, I guess. Ports, Portsmouth, Ports, Portsmouth, Portsmouth. I'm at the Queens Hotel. Um, from here, we are going to go down to Southampton, which would be our final destination by train. We saw, we stopped here for the night because in addition to going to High Clare Castle, we saw the Lord Nelson victory ship. And, um, so we saw Stonehenge and Amesbury and the High Clare Castle. So, um, on Friday, we're going to be traveling home by the Queen Mary too. So that's why this paper made it to my, um, 
to my backpack because I'm going to rewrite it over, transfer it all over there, nice, neat little things. I might even include the prices and stuff and trains and stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm keeping one, not both. But right now I'm traveling with both because I said, hey, I went to one travel lodge. You didn't have it. So the next one I went to, I found it. I said, look at that. So I'm rewriting that over so I can show my family when I'm back home where I've been on the map. So uh, my son, Michael, says, mom, he goes, I, I think I'd like to do that. I said, well, part of my recommendation is don't do the trip I've done. I'm traveling with a friend who, who's had places so he had to go. Like We had to accommodate a whole lot of people. The only thing I want sightseeing was High Clear Castle. So it would have been a lot less inexpensive trip. So anyway, so that is the paper that I had taken out of luggage. I shipped some home and I'm um, still traveling very light. Um, I think when I make it home, and if you leave a comment below, I might show you what I packed in my backpack and how I managed to make it uh, by backpack and what I did to survive, what I did for laundry facilities. If you want to see that video, I, d I can make better videos back home because I took photos off the laundry mat that I went to. So that's it. This video, sorry for being over 20 minutes, but press, I was going to say press like and subscribe, but you know what? You know what to do. See you real soon. Okay. I can't stop because my cousin Lloyd is t texting me. I got there. See you real soon.